Hi guys, Max Everly here and I have a shot making drill for you today to help you with your shot making consistency. Okay, so one thing that a lot of beginners and intermediate players do who might be having a hard time with shot making is they'll get down on the shot and then they'll spend a lot of time down here basically aiming and trying to figure out and you'll actually see them adjusting their bridge and leaning over and looks like they're basically putting all these components of their shot together while they're down there and it takes it takes a while then finally they miss the ball or they'll make the ball. It's hit or miss. Really very inconsistent and doesn't look like they know what they're doing. Whereas you might take a professional who's playing real fast and good and they get down and they only do one practice stroke or two practice strokes and they never miss a ball. So how can this be and how can you develop this in your game? and what you want to do is basically find out where you are in your shot making so what you do is you, you line up you get down and you don't take any practice strokes and then you hit the ball so that's the drill is basically you get down no practice strokes and then hit the ball and what that does is it shows you where you are in your lineup to begin with it basically tests your shot making instinct and intuition it helps you develop that so what you want to do is apply that to a bunch of different shots so extend your cue about a foot beyond your bridge hand then line up bring it down right into your shot and then pull back once and hit the ball we're not too worried about the cue ball right now just do this for a bunch of different shots and see what happens Okay, so the idea here is that you don't change anything while you're down there shooting the ball. And what you want to do is give it a shot. So what happens if you miss, say this, you get down, you give it your normal stroke. You have to observe how you miss the ball. So I hit the ball too full and it hit that side of the pocket. So now I want to set it up exactly the same again. And this time... I'm going to change how I line up to the ball right away. And I'm not going to change the way I stroke the ball or anything about my stance. So I know I hit it too far to the left, so this time I'm going to aim more to the left so the ball goes more to the right and hopefully into the pocket. So I'll make that adjustment on the way down here. We'll see if that's right. Okay, it looked pretty good. So that's what you do. You basically observe your results and then make the change in your lineup on your next shot until it starts going in the pocket. Alright guys, I hope that drill helps your game and take it to the practice table and I'll be seeing you in the next video clip.